continue. Verse 12. She hath wearied herself with lies and great scum went not forth out of her. Her scum shall be in the fire. Do you know what he said there in the Hebrew? He said, her filth, talking of Jerusalem today, you look at it, the Kenites, is so filthy that you could cook it in this manner. And not only would the pot still stench, but the ground would stench. If you want to know what your father thinks of Jerusalem today, if you are one of these that says, oh, God's chosen people have come there, it's wonderful, wonderful, you'd better wake up. For it's a stench. Any place without Christ, and anyone that crows on the very rock that Christ was crucified on and makes mockery, vengeance shall be taken upon that one. And churches turned into harlot houses, for they heard Christians to worship that lot. They are harlots uh, when they lead uh, God's people to that place uh, where there is no God. And they think they do God's business. Uh. Okay, let's continue on, if we may, then, with verse 13. In thy filthiness is lewdness. It's not right, uh, is what he's saying. Because I have purged thee, and thou was not purged, thou shalt not be purged from thy filthiness any more. Till, now get this, till I have caused my fury to rest upon thee. Do you know when that is? If you've ever read God's word at all, you shouldn't have too much difficulty figuring that out because God's vengeance does not take place, as I stated earlier, until the last day of this dispensation. That's what he's talking about. That's why this tent is the last. You can't cook them any more than that. They're cooked out. God is not happy with the murder and the rampage and the lies that cover this world at this time. Very soon those ten are going to take hold out of all nations. When? I don't know, but you are warned it is soon. Very, very soon. You see that you are ready. It doesn't take a great speaker. And don't you ever let man set qualifications as to what you must be and or do and or say to be a part of that. God says you've got to have ears to hear and eyes to see. And if you see it, you're a part of it. It doesn't matter what the other people mumble on about or the claims they might make. It's whether you understand your father. You don't have to understand man necessarily. But I must hasten to add, if you understand the father, you'll understand man also. He's talking about 